Hi everyone. Most of you here know me as August Leroy, the famous painter. What a lot of you don't know is that back in the 90s, I was actually a pretty well-known Cupid aficionado. I worked down at the local Rent-A-Cupid, and I was there until the big love bubble burst in 98. After that, the company went belly up, no one was looking for love, they didn't want matches, so I had to hang up my wings and find other ways to make a living. The good news today is, according to the publication Cupid's Quarterly, love is back on the rise. They are predicting that by the end of 2024, love will be at the highest it's been since 2006. So I figure what better time to dust off the old Cupid wings, throw the costume back on and see what kind of matches I can make. Ran into a little bit of a problem. My old costume was from the 90s and as you can see, I've grown quite a bit since then. Not a problem, I thought. Back in the day, you could go to any local grocer, gas station, farmer's market, and you had your choice of Cupid costumes. Not the case anymore, my friends. I actually couldn't find a Cupid's costume. This is a gladiator's costume that I slap some wings on and I carry around this bow and arrow hoping that people will understand that I am a Cupid and I am for hire. It hasn't gone great so far, but we'll see what this next week brings. Which brings me to one of the reasons I'm here. If you or anyone you know is looking for a Rent-A-Cupid, look no further. My success rate on matches is 23%, which I know sounds low, but compared to my competitors who, have, who are at a mere 9%, I think I'm the guy that you want for the job. The second reason I'm here is that, as I mentioned, I, I did have to supplement my income these last 30 or 20 years. Uh, and I've been painting. I've been trying to sell my paintings, but that hasn't really gone well. But I think the problem is, is that I haven't been able to get into the local swap meet markets. Those booths, there are a ton of them, but they don't become available unless someone is willing to sell or they pass away. And, and so far, I've had zero luck in my area getting into that sweet, sweet swap meet market. So if you or anyone you know as a booth and they're willing to sell or are gonna be passing away soon, definitely give them my name because I will jump on that. I think if I could get into that swap meet action, sell my paintings and obviously white tube socks because for some reason white tube socks fly off the tables at the swap meet markets, I think my luck would really turn around. So in thanks for your consideration for the swap meet tables, for all of your love needs. I'm gonna do a painting for you today. It's on a heart because I'm Cupid and I like hearts and I'm pleading the heart. So I can make some pleat puns like, be still my pleading heart or my heart pleats for thee. So I hope you enjoy the painting. I hope you consider me for your Cupid needs in the future and I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Thanks for being here and I appreciate you. Simple as it seems, the twinkle in your eyes, the way that time slows down when you kiss me as we fall asleep in a bed of butterflies. Just close your eyes and then you'll see it. You don't ever have to look too far, you don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, Open up my heart and you'll find love, 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 mm -hmm. love, love, love. Open up my heart and you'll find love. It will never grow old, even when we grow up. It's up to us to stop and smell each rose to the colors that we show. Feeling that we trust And it's the brush that we both carry You don't ever have to look too far You don't have to cover up your scars You're perfect darling just the way you are So before you think to rip yourself apart Open up my heart and you'll find love It seems 
Open up my heart and you'll find love 